try again. When we compare ourselves to others, we give the voices in our head so much power. We can use that power to express or repress ourselves. I have a really nasty inner saboteur, inner critic, ego, dark side, whatever you want to call it. I also have a very strong will to love myself. Apparently, those negative voices in our head are usually in the form of someone else. Our brain tricks us and really wants us to believe that those thoughts come from a place of truth and not the soulless part inside of all of us. If we spend time, lots of time, we can decode the voices and see them as passerbys. Moments in life where we felt the sting of that voice. The origins of that negative self-talk are often buried really deep within us and sometimes they can appear really clear, but the roots are beneath us. They're in the past and eventually we'll decide that the most self-loving thing to do is to let them go. I don't mean that we completely forget trauma or never slip into our old behavior patterns. I just mean that we willingly allow the pain to be there and react with less harm to ourselves and others. We can befriend our shadow side. If we work hard at making that release a habit, we can initiate self-love just a wee bit easier each time. Our reaction to others becomes joy, excitement, inspiration, opportunity to change, and opportunity to love. We set boundaries in healthy ways and act in accordance to our soul. We all have the capacity to love so deeply. We were born with that. I know you and I will embrace that with each passing day, and I can't wait to bask in every part of who you are, in all of its nitty gritty glory. The origin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if we make. <laughs> if we make hard. Whoa. I'm a materialist. I'm a materialist.